Our planet is in crisis, and we're running out of time to save it. Is nuclear fusion the answer? Achieving commercial fusion has been a focus of scientists since the 1930s. But so far, traditional methods have failed to produce anything commercially viable. While shooting lasers into plasma might sound like something out of a science fiction movie, these exciting new innovations in fusion energy, funded by billionaires, might be just what is needed to save the world. Nuclear fusion happens when two hydrogen atoms combine into one helium atom, which produces a massive amount of energy. This process takes place in a state of matter that is known as plasma, which is an extremely hot-charged gas made up of positive ions and moving electrons. Plasma is unique in composition from solids, liquids, and gases. Nuclear fusion is what powers the sun and all other stars. While fusion has been studied for generations, no energy or research company has been able to produce fusion that lasted for more than a few seconds. Already, you might be wondering, why does this matter? If we already have nuclear fission and fossil fuels, why do we really need fusion? Well, to answer that, fusion produces roughly four times the amount of energy than fission and does not produce any kind of radioactive byproducts like fission does. And of course, burning fossil fuels is no longer sustainable. In fact, unless we can reach net zero emissions by the middle of the century, we have almost no hope of sustaining life on this planet for future generations. We are already seeing the devastating effects of climate change in recent years, with record-breaking floods, storms, droughts, and heat waves all around the world. Because of the urgent need for net zero emissions, the quest to achieve nuclear fusion has ramped up over the past several decades. But there is one main issue. Net gain. Net gain is where you produce more energy than the amount of energy you put in to create the reaction. And so far, the attempts to create fusion on Earth have been unsuccessful in achieving this. Fusion needs to reach a stage called ignition, which allows the energy to sustain itself. Given the size of the Sun, the enormous amount of gravitational pull creates the amount of pressure needed to sustain nuclear fusion to power the star. However, creating a power plant on Earth that is the size of the Sun is, quite obviously, unrealistic. So scientists around the world have been looking for other solutions. And this is where private investors come in. Up until recently, much of the research on nuclear fusion was conducted publicly, but government funding has its limits. Many government-funded programs are heavily research-based and are limited by funding and red tape. However, with growing concern over the state of the climate, private funding has been flooding the fusion market to the tune of billions of dollars. While independent governments continue with promising but drawn-out ideas that don't project commercial fusion happening earlier than the mid-2030s, more than 30 private fusion companies around the world are working on new and innovative fusion technology, with one company claiming that commercial fusion will be possible in as little as two years. Whether such a close target is possible is debated, but there are several different companies that are working on methods that have exciting possibilities. One such company is Helion Energy, which is working on something called direct energy conversion. With direct energy conversion, Helion hopes to bypass the heating process and instead convert charged particles directly into energy, effectively cutting out the process of creating steam. Helion is convinced they will be active by 2024, but many are skeptical, with the valid criticism that many privately researched projects don't have to publicly release data that demonstrates the effectiveness of their devices. So while Helion Energy's plan might sound great, whether it will actually work, we'll have to wait and see to believe. Another approach that has sparked a lot of interest with private companies is something called inertial confinement, which is when plasma is held for a very short period and then hit with specifically focused lasers that are used to spark the fusion reaction. So far, this approach hasn't been particularly promising when looking at net gain, but many companies are looking at all methods and seeing what processes can be used in tandem. Aside from the lack of transparency, a lot of the critique lobbed at private fusion companies 
is their departure from traditional methods. Most research has been based around magnetic confinement, which so far has seemed to provide the most consistent results. Magnetic confinement is the method being used at the International Fusion Energy Organization, or ITER, an organization in the south of France that is made up of 35 different intergovernmental organizations and uses a device called the tokamak, which traps plasma to create fusion power. However, many private companies are turning away from using tokamaks, either claiming the cost is too expensive or that their method will be more effective. Regardless of the negative opinions surrounding private fusion companies, there are many who believe in their promises. Giant companies such as Google and Chevron, as well as billionaires Bill Gates and Jeff Bezos, are just some of the investors who have poured billions into startups that predict commercial fusion availability long before ITER's much more conservative estimate of commercial fusion by 2035. For many, this investment makes sense. Private companies are often focused on thinking like businesses, which are more concerned with producing products quickly and adjusting later, than lingering in research and working until they have the perfect product, which is often what stands in the way of government enterprises. Ultimately, no matter how we get there, achieving commercial nuclear fusion would change the world. Harnessing fusion would allow a complete shift in the way we operate on Earth and could give us a real chance at net zero emissions a goal that looks almost impossible due to the lackluster commitments made by nations around the world. Some feel the only way we'll be able to achieve nuclear fusion in a timely fashion is by joining forces and working together. But that would take cooperation on a scale rarely seen before. And with so much money at stake, even when our planet hangs in the balance, some might care more about the profits than the benefits immediate nuclear fusion might have on society. Do you think privately owned companies will be the answer to commercial fusion? Do you think it's best to stay away from traditional methods? Or should private companies stick to the research that's already been done? Let us know in the comments.